we talk about flight planning using Sky Vector, Simbrief, Flightaware, and Navigraph. That's coming up next. Hello, some pilots, and welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. Today, we're talking about flight planning. I'm going to show you how I plan my flights and what resources I use in order to prepare my routes and my departure and arrival airports. So the first thing I need to do is choose my departure and arrival airport. So if I don't have a specific route that I would like to fly or a specific airport that I would like to fly into or out of, I use Sky Vector and I check perhaps maybe I want to do an ILS approach somewhere. I look for where is currently IFR conditions based on the color of the of the dots at the weather station. So for example, yeah, you can see red is low IFR and, and IFR and green is VFR. So perhaps you want to shoot an ILS approach into an airport. You can choose one that's maybe got a red dot, obviously making sure that it's got the ILS facilities. So maybe I'll choose this one over here is one of these maybe we can choose Oslo I've never flown into that airport before but I know it is an international airport so it will have an ILS approach so once I've chosen my arrival airport I will go over to fly to where to choose where I'm going to fly from by copying real-world operations I will type in echo November golf Mike and that will bring up Oslo we can have a look at the arrivals and the departures into Oslo. So yeah, we have some arrivals and depending on the aircraft you want to fly, maybe you want to fly a 737-800 or an A320, you can choose your departure airport. So here yeah, we can see we've got here Scandinavian 1462 A320 Neo and that's coming from Copenhagen. The flight is about an hour long, so that seems like a decent one. So let's choose that one. So from here we can copy the call sign, the departure, the arrival. Now you don't have to do this, this is just something I do to get ideas on where to fly from to this destination. So that's the one I'm going to use. After that we're going to head over to Simbrief and create our flight plan using the call sign we've just chosen from flight aware. So we go over to dispatch, dispatch system. new flight and here we can put in all the details so our call sign is going to be Scandinavian flight number 1462 we are departing Copenhagen which is Echo Kilo Charlie Hotel we are heading to Oslo which is Echo November Golf Mike it will fill in alternate for us we can put in the date and the time of our departure Aircraft type, let's choose our airframe. So we're going to fly the A320 Neo, the fly by wire one. So yeah, I have two options, the stable and ex development and the experimental. So we'll choose the stable version. Here you can choose the cost index or you can leave it at auto. You can choose your flight level or you can leave it at auto. I'm going to choose flight level west is even, so flight level 340. Cargo passenger zero fuel weight, you could leave it all auto or you can change it if you like. And over here you can see your route. You can choose one of these routes. It'll show you the routes at the bottom here. Or you can use the first one that it gives you. These are normally pretty accurate. So Vida, Lima 997, Lunip. And this is your departure and your arrival. So once that's done nice and easily we can generate the flight plan. So we generate flight plan. Yes. And there you have your operational flight plan here at the bottom. So what we'll do is we'll save that PDF and we will use it later for the flight. Now, now guys if you'd like me to do a tutorial on how to read these operational flight plans leave a comment down below and we can have a look at doing that. But just a quick run through as you can see here's our call sign, departure and arrival, all our information, cost index, distance, weather, weights, fuel required, Here's the routes, down here you'll have all your times and your, all your weights. So we'll keep that for now 
and we'll have a look at that during the flight. After that we head over to Navigraph to plan our departure and our arrival, so let's do that. Yeah, once we've loaded up Navigraph charts, we can find our flight by going uh, new flight and we can say from Simbrief. It'll bring up our latest flight from Simbrief, which is this one here, Echo Co Kilo Charlie Hotel. So Echo November Golf Mike and click on that there and it will bring up the entire route. Not a very long flight, just like I said, just about an hour. What it's done is it's included the runway and the standard instrument departure and this side as well. It's included it's included the standard terminal arrival route and the runway. But what I always do is I delete those because you don't always know what arrival and what runway you're going to be using until you get into the sim and you've checked the weather. Especially if you're flying on LAN on VATSIM for example, they are going to give you your departure and arrival. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll just plan it ourselves. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check the weather at Copenhagen, our departure. So we can go back to Sky Vector and have a look at our departure here, which is Copenhagen. And we'll check in the winds, 180 at 19 knots. So if we go back to Navigraph, and we check the chart for Copenhagen and which way the runways are laid out. 180 at 9 knots. So the winds are coming from the south, heading up to the north. So our runway departure will be into the wind. So we're going to choose either 22 left or 22 right. I would reckon it must most probably be 22 left as it's closer to the terminal. So based on 22 left, which departure is going to send us to our first waypoint, which is VDAR. So we have a look down the list here and we're looking for a departure that goes to VDAR from 22 left. So here's all the VDAR departures here. So we'll have a look at all of them. VDAR 22 left. Oh, that's the one here. So it's going to be the VDAR 1 Foxtrot departure. Taking off 22, left turn, excuse me, right turn, right turn up to VDAR. So that's the one we're going to use. So we can add that to our flight by choosing the runway, choosing runway 22 left, choosing the departure, VDAR 1 Foxtrot. And there it is there. And then you can do the same thing for your arrival. You have a look at the winds in Oslo. So we'll go back to Sky Vector again. Check the winds in Oslo. Zero nine and zero. No, one one zero at nine knots. Variable between zero nine zero and one five zero. So one one zero at nine knots. So based on that, we'll choose our arrival. Let's have a look at the airport layout. So our runway is zero one or one nine. And our winds were from 110, which is about here. So it's about a crosswind, almost an exact crosswind. But it said variable between 090 and 150. So I reckon we'll be landing 19. So we can either do 19 left or 19 right. And our departure, excuse me, and our arrival is coming from. Lunip is our last waypoint on the route. So let's choose our approach. So we're going to do one nine left. So let's do our arrival to one nine left. So we're looking for a yes, Lunip over here. So it'll be either this one, Lunip, that's for runway zero one, Lunip for Mike. That's for runway 19. So it's that one over there. So we'll pin that one over there and it'll be the Lunip Lunip 1 mic. No, Lunip 4 mic arrival. And the approach is going to be the ILS for runway 19 left. So let's do ILS localizer runway 19 left. So it goes from Titler which is our initial approach fix to OSPAD 
Zigfa, Zivta, and on ILS. So that's what we're going to choose. So we can add that to our flight plan by going arrivals, lunar form mic, approach, ILS, runway 19 left from Titla into 19. And that's it guys, that's your flight plan set up. So from there you can save it and import it directly into your MCDU if you're flying the fly-by-wire A32NX and you can do your flight just like that. I hope you enjoyed the flight. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing for the next one and we will maybe do this flight. Cheers.